Hi all, I am Muhammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in our last video, we have discussed about the estimates of variability, right? Where we have discussed about 8 to 9 different kind of um, variability metrics. So here in this video, we will discuss more about it. Okay. So the first one is deviation. Okay. Here we will call it as an error. Okay, we can also call it as a residual. Okay, everything is safe. Okay, so this means, okay, this says the difference between difference between observed value observed value and estimates of location. So we have already discussed about what is estimates of location, right? So if x is the observed value and x bar is the estimates of location, then this gives the residual or this gives the error or we can also say this is the deviation. Okay. So from this residual, we will get an idea like how the data points are away from this mean. Okay. So if it is very big value then that means the data point is like far away from the mean and if it is zero that means the data point and the mean are both are same right the distance is or like if it is small we can say that okay they are very close to each other okay so the second one we can discuss about the range okay so the range is the difference between the largest and the smallest values in a data set so this we can say difference between largest and smallest value in a data set in a data set okay consider a data set consider a data set 10 8 maybe 5 6 2 and 1 okay consider this is the data set so to calculate the range first step is we need to sort it okay so let me sort it so we can say that it is 1 2 then 5 then 6 then 8 then 10 right then we need to see the difference between the largest and the smallest value in a data set so here the largest value is 10 right so this is 10 and the smallest value is 1. So the value is 9, right? So this is the, the range value. That is 9. Okay, here, here also, so if the value is big, so we know that, okay, the, the, the data is spread like very high, right? But if it is small, we, we can say that, okay, data values are very close to each other. Okay? So that is the use of range. Now the third one that we can discuss is the order statistics order statistics okay so this is we can say metric this is a matrix we can say this is a matrix based on the data values based on the data values sorted from smallest to biggest smallest to biggest okay so here we will say this all we can say this also we can say it is a rank Okay, I think by saying this, I think everybody can understand what is mean by order statistics, right? So here also what we will do, we can take the same above example, what we will do if we have a data set and we will sort it in ascending order, then we can say that, okay, uh, the rank of the element, right? So this is, we can say that two is in the um, second rank, okay, second position, and we can say that eight is in maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth position, okay? The eighth rank is six, right? 
so by seeing the rank we know we can know that okay how the elements are closely so we can say that if the rank is one and the rank is two we know that okay both are together right so if two ranks are two elements are in a different ranks maybe like uh, one is very small value and one is very high rank position okay we can say that okay there are like a too many um, elements are there and they are like too far from each other right okay so that is all about in this video okay so please do like and subscribe so the there are like uh, five or six other items are there or other metrics are there that we need to discuss that we can discuss in our coming videos okay so yeah once again thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day bye bye